Welcome back to... Not welcome back. It's the first episode, Adam. Idiot. Uh, welcome to Learning Python for Scott. Uh, this is a dedicated learning channel purely for Scott Evanson. If you're not Scott, uh, has that been your name? Yep, Scott Evanson. Nailed it. Um, okay, in today's episode, we will be learning, Scott, how to combine two... Uh, CSV files, comma separated uh, values, uh, and we'll be matching them on a key. So quick problem statement, we have a list of schools and we have a list of school locations and we want that in one file so we can do something with it later. Um, ideally, we just pop that into two database tables and do an SQL join. But the cool thing is in Python, we have the data science package called pandas, which is great for data munging and manipulation. And it will enable us to view the data, remove any duplicates, um, get rid of any blank keys and merge the two files and output to CSV. And we should be able to do this in just like literally a handful of lines of code. So to get started, first we need to think about it, import pandas. If you don't have pandas installed, pip install pandas. If you're using Anaconda, use Conda install pandas. Google how to do that. I'm not gonna spoon feed you everything. All right, Scott, today we are going to be combining two CSV files. So matching on a key um, and outputting a combined one single CSV file using the Python package called pandas. Um, on my screen, I've done a bit of pre-work. So we have uh, import pandas as PD. PD is shorter than pandas, so it's easier to refer to PD than typing pandas every time. Um, and we've set a couple of options which enable us to view all the columns. Um, that's not super important to know right now. And here we have a couple of commented out um, files, uh, only because I couldn't remember what they are. It's just easy to copy and paste. If you're ever unsure um, where you're working, PWD tells you your directory. So Adam Williams and documents, Python, blah, blah, blah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna import, we're gonna bring in a data frame. So data frame is a pandas sort of structure. And how that's gonna look is we'll call it my school underscore final df is equal to pd, so that's pandas, um, dot read csv, it's that easy. Um, and we're gonna bring in the csv. So let's see if that works. Oh, crash straight away, good uh, does not exist. My school, oh, idiot. I'm just gonna leave that in there to prove that I'm dumb. Oh, cool. All right, so we've got a UTF-8 error. Um, doesn't like the encoding. So that what all that means is there's some characters in this file that are outside of the, the range, whether it be Unicode or whatever else. What I have for you is a little tip. So encoding is equal to Latin, random. So that just means it will try to convert, I don't know, actually. It just means it will bring the file in. Let's just go with that. You don't need to know all these details. Cool, there it is. Um, so by running the variable name, my school underscore final underscore df, and that's just the name, I use df for data frame. Um, we've now read in the data frame, we have that available to us, which has all this cool cool data about schools. Uh, if you just wanna look at the first few, um, head will bring in the first five. Um, you can tell it to bring in the first 10 if you really want. Um, and just like you'd imagine, there's also a tail, so you look at the bottom of the file as well. Um, so I have looked at the two files in the past and I do know that age ID is how I want to match the data. But what I'm finding is there's some nulls in here, so empty empty strings or empty numbers. Um, NAN, not a number, um, that's fact. And they use NAN for everything, which is quite strange. So what we need to do is before we match these two files, because of this, for example, five not a numbers on one side and five on the other side, when we match, we actually end up with 25 records. It will blow out because it will kind of join on everything. Um, so one way to do that and it will be a bit confusing the first time you see this, but ultimately what we're gonna do is the cool thing about pandas is you can select a column. So that column, that's how you select a column. Now that's the column there, and you can see here there's a bunch of NAs. What we're gonna do is we're gonna ask the data, hey, is it NA? So we're gonna say, is NA? And that's a method that runs on the, um, on the column. Now I should just pause there and also say, a data frame is a data frame. Uh, a column is called a series. So when you see errors relating to series, it's usually because you're, you're doing something in the column that may be reserved for a data frame and vice, vice versa. So you can see here is in a bunch of falses and a bunch of trues. So what you can actually do, which is kind of neat, you can actually filter um, a data frame only to the, the records that you want. So what I can actually do is I can take the data frame name and I can put a condition in here and make that equal true. And all of a sudden we've got all these records here. Now there's only a handful of them. If we weren't sure how many there were, we can always run a um, LEM so we can have a look. Okay, so there's 16 that just basically are RNA. Um, so what I'm going to do is, rather than filtering on the 16, I'm actually gonna filter on everything else. So set that to false. So now we have all the data and I'm just gonna override 
our data frame with itself, but this time filtering on removing all the NAs. So what that looks like now, oops, if I go here and look at this, I won't have any blank IDs. Beautiful, 9,519 records, you beauty. So that one's now ready for matching. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Pause, no, it's not. I just lied to you. God, I'm the worst Scott. Remember, if you're not Scott, hang up now. You shouldn't be watching this. This is a tutorial just for Scott. Um, okay, so why, why did I lie to you? I lied to you because there could be duplicate IDs and that could be a problem. So how do we figure that out? Um, dot duplicated uh, is the easiest way. Uh, and it's the same sort of deal. So it's the same sort of thing around, well, we can do this little trick here. Um, when you run dot duplicated on an entire data frame, uh, what you're actually saying is take the entire row and tell me, is there any other duplicates with all the exact same values? So what we're actually gonna need to do is set a subset. And a subset will basically say, well, what are you actually interested in? I'm interested in understanding if the age ID is a duplicate. And you can see here, um, it's not very easy to understand. So we're gonna do the same thing we did before. We're basically gonna say duplicates equal true. Doodle -doo -doo. You can do this Adam. Okay, cool. So the good news is we've gone, hey, bring back all the duplicates that are true. No records have come back. Um, Cause this is a once off piece of analysis. I'm not gonna have this in my logic to go and figure out the duplicates and remove them. I'm just gonna say, help for now, I'm happy. There's no duplicates. That data is good to go. Now the second set of data is basically the same set of stuff. It's just using a different file. So ultimately what I could potentially do is be super lazy and literally just drop this in here, location final dear. Okay, read that in, boom, happy days. And this guy is equal to this guy and this guy. Boom, and then have a look at my data. And here we are, happy days, 9,519, location's final. And the only other thing we need to do is, is we shouldn't have deleted that, silly boy. Let's have a look, oh, no, it's duplicated, boom. Duplicated, we want to say for now anyway, equals to true because we're interested in whether they are. And here we go. So my school location final underscore DF and you have here, is it duplicated equals true and there's no data, beautiful. So what do we end up with? So we've got two files looking good, um, but ultimately we want to match the two. We want to make sure um, we've got all the columns for the two files and we know that there's an age ID that we can actually match on. So how do we do that? Really simple. So um, we reference PD because that's that's pandas. And we're gonna use a method called merge and merge is really cool. I'm just hit shift tab here. You can see here he's basically gonna define, hey, what is the left data frame? What is the right data frame? Um, how do you wanna join that? Is that a left join, right join, outer join? Um, so quick bit of background, if you put your you know, left join will include all the records on the left and only the matching records on the right. Um, and outer join will actually include both and it will tell you the matching, whether it matching the left, right or, or both. Um, so let's just get down to business. So, on the, we're gonna we're gonna basically start with my school's final DF because ultimately I'm interested in the school, its name, all that sort of detail. And if it does have a location, I want to match it. To me, there's not much value in having just a location. So we do that one, bim, and we'll do that one. So what do we got now? So we've gone dum dum, and it's the two data frames. So we are gonna say left underscore on is equal to, now I'm pretty sure it's AGE underscore ID, but if you're ever unsure, what you can actually do is dot columns, and that'll tell you, that will tell you all the columns, and it is age ID, and the other cool one is dot info, uh, and dot info will actually not just tell you the columns, but it'll tell you the, the, the data type that it's assigned to it. So this data here, um, Pandas makes an effort to auto assign a data type, and this is really good most of the time. Um, where it falls apart for me is when I'm dealing with things like, um, for example, an ABN number, um, it'll convert it to a float, um, which will then make it a decimal point. Um, so if I'm joining that to other data sets that it's stored as a string, I'll have the ABN dot zero and the ABN without the dot zero, and that becomes a bit annoying. Um, so there's ways around that when you import the data or you can actually um, cast the type as well. Um, so that's a little bit of handy info there. So left on, we're gonna do age underscore ID, and then we've got um, our right on and right on is equal to exactly the same thing. So we just do that one. And it's gonna ask us, how do we wanna join the data? And we basically wanna join it on the left, okay? So now that we've done that, we've just ran this guy and what it's actually come back with is, is a complete join. Um, it, 
appears that calendar year dash x, so it will appear that some columns, let's have a look, there could be duplicates in this data. My school final df, my school location final df, have I imported the same thing twice? My school final, my school final, I have, idiot. So, as simple as that, let's just rerun all of them. Boom, okay, fixed it. So, what do we have? Uh, age ID, calendar, boom, 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 good, got the school name, um, and now we should have, which is kind of neat, we should also have some stuff around location, which is what I'm after, you ripper. So we've got longitude and latitude, really important, statistical area one, two, and uh, three there, um, and a bunch of other cool stuff. So what we can do is we can just give this a name. So my school, can we call it combined? Um, it's equal to that, ripper. So we've got my school combined. We'll just do a quick check on a couple of other things just to make sure we haven't done anything over the top, haven't blown out or anything like that. Yep, 9520, that's good. Uh, and then if you wanted to export that to a CSV file, so you can open, open up an Excel or import to a database or whatever you choose, you just go uh, myschoolcombined.2csv, okay? Give it a name. So in here, we'll just give it a name, myschoolcombined.csv. Um, and typically I do index equals false. And all that's going to do for us is you'll notice here that in the my school combined, there's an index column, 0, 1, 2, 3. I, I don't really need that in my data. That becomes useful when you want to start doing some cool and funky stuff um, with your data and then match it back. But for me, it's like, hey, I just need the data. Just give me the data. Um, hey, so that's it. Uh, let's have a quick look and see what we got out of that. So navigating to, where are we? Documents, Python projects quest account and where are we and we got my schools combined beautiful and that's it thanks for watching scott if you're not scott you shouldn't have watched this far anyway goodbye